The Democratic Republic of Congo had been under immense pressure to prosecute the soldiers. The United Nations had threatened in February last year to withdraw support for two Congolese battalions. But following the suspension of 12 senior officers, including the commander and deputy commander, the peacekeeping mission decided to keep working with them. According to a military official, one of the soldiers was convicted of rape and the other of murder. Another 24 soldiers were sentenced to between 10 and 20 years in prison for disobeying orders not to leave their camp near Minova. However, 13 senior officers who were part of the group of 39 in the mass trial were acquitted for lack of evidence. Those convicted have been stripped off their titles and have since been dismissed from the army. These soldiers have already been fired from the army because the Congolese army is a professional one. There is no space for delinquency in our army. At Hill Africa Hospital, where most rape cases are reported and treated, victims and doctors were celebrating the verdict. Here, we have a victory on sexual violence. That's why I'm very happy. Today, I will drink some wine because of the joy for those who have fought for justice. We need justice because we need to see our women's rights respected in our country. At least 97 women and 33 girls, some as young as six, were reported to have been raped in the eastern town of Minova over two days as thousands of civilians fled fighting between Congo's ill-disciplined army and the M23 rebel group. According to human rights groups, rape has been used as a weapon for war in eastern DR Congo, where more than 5 million people are estimated to have been killed by violence, hunger and disease during more than two decades of internal armed conflict. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.